All right, guys, I'm back here again for part two of my movie and collectible room tour. I'm going to go ahead and get it started from where I left off with my Texas Chainsaw Massacre shelf that I have right here. Give you guys a close-up of everything that's on it. First off, we have the uh, Movie Maniacs Leatherface right there. And then we have the uh, the NECA Ultimate um, Leatherface figure right there. Then right here we have the old Spencer's Gifts um, Leatherface doll. And then I have the new 4K of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then I have the old uh, two-disc Ultimate Edition DVD uh, Steelbook. Moving on down here, I have the old Pop Vinyl Leatherface. And then I have this cool figure right here that unfortunately broke, but it's when Leatherface killed Kirk. And then I have the uh, Scream Factory Collector's Edition Blu-ray of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. And the last shelf down here, I got a couple of other figures. This one right here, and then I got uh, that one. And then I have this kind of funny little figure um, that's kind of in this kind of... I don't know what you call this, but it's in kind of this little design. I also have a Freddy and Jason one as well, which I'll be showing. And then I have the DVDs of the third and fourth movie and then the remake. And I do plan on eventually getting um, those on Blu-ray at some point. I've only seen up to uh, the beginning. I haven't seen 3D or the new Leatherface movie. Uh, but I do plan to uh, at some point. Um, but I do want to upgrade um, these movies to Blu-ray at some point. All right. Let's get up. And we're going to move over here. And like I said in part one, this is uh, the new shelf that I recently added, um, which I will be showing off here in a minute. But first, I'm going to move over here and show you guys my Evil Dead section. And um, this is a pretty cool section I've set up. First right here, I have the 18-inch Ash figure that I've had for years. Um, unfortunately, he is missing his chainsaw. He came with a chainsaw, and then he came with the... Uh, the metal hand that he got in Army of Darkness. Um, unfortunately, I lost a chainsaw years ago. Um, that is one reason why I like to keep things in the package, so I don't lose pieces, you know, and I don't break anything. Um, you know, that's a great way to avoid that. Um, but then right here, we have the, uh, the Movie Maniacs Ash figure right there. And then I have the uh, Ultimate Ash Evil Dead 2 right there. And then I've got a few cool additions. I've got the three disc Ultimate Edition DVD of the original movie. And then I have the uh, the Anchor Bay Limited Edition 10 of Evil Dead 2. And then the Book of the Dead Edition of Evil Dead 2. I'd like to get the Book of the Dead Edition of the first one, um, but it is kind of pricey. Then down here, this is where I keep all of my different editions of the movies. And there's some cool ones like the Boomstick Edition of Army of Darkness. I got the Steel Book of the first Evil Dead. Then I got the um, Screen Factory release of Army of Darkness right there. And then I have an HD DVD and DVD combo of the first Army of Darkness. Or of um, Army of Darkness. Um, I don't collect HD DVDs. I actually got that before I got the regular DVD. And I thought it was, it was cool. You know, I mean, like I said, I never collected HD DVDs. And then I've also got the, the seasons of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Over here I got a few of the, the VHSs of the first two movies. And then I got some comic books right there as well. Um, before I move on, I do want to show what's on the top of this uh, shelf right here. I've got the novelization of The Karate Kid Part 2. And then I've got Dumb and Dumber, the novelization. One of my favorite um, favorite comedies right there. Um, I just put those there because I liked having a different array of, you know, different stuff that sort of represented the entire room on top of this shelf. All right, now moving on down here. This is my old um, Freddy Krueger figure, which I used to have standing up, but as you can see, um, his knives broke off. Again, another reason why I like to keep everything in the packaging. I um, mean, he did come with a, um, a head from New Nightmare, which is pretty cool. Then I've got the uh, one of the old Movie Maniacs figures of Freddy, which again, I dropped it and uh, his head broke off. So yeah. And then there's his hat. And then moving on down here, there's a few cool things down here. First off, there are these plates right here that my mom got me. Um, and these are supposed to look like old classic 
um, horror movies. Never heard of any of these, but they do have like, you know, director and who starred in it uh, at the bottom. I assume they're based on, you know, um, they're based on real movies, but I'm really not sure. If anybody does know anything about these, let me know, because I really don't know. She just found them at like an old antique store. All right. And then I've got a few smaller things right here. I've got like this little Hannibal Lecter toy right here and Beetlejuice toy and a couple of these little Fan of the Opera, Invisible Man here. You got a little, you know, skull ashtray and then a couple of beeves and butthead buttons right here. All right, so now I'm gonna go and move on to the new shelf that I recently added. And this is kind of a Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th shelf. Now, if you could give you guys a kind of a close up under the Movie Maniacs figure of uh, Freddy right there. And then I got the ultimate figure, naked figure for part two. And then I have the 18 inch figure of Freddy right there. And then the ultimate Freddy from part three. And down here, there's just uh, different stuff. Got the Steelbook Blu-ray of original Nightmare on Elm Street in the Blu-ray set and then the VHSs. And then at the and then at the end, I have a Freddy's glove. And then moving on down here, I have the reaction figure of Jason right there. And then I got a Freddy and Jason wristband. And then they got the old Blu-ray of a Blu-ray set of the uh, whole movies, the whole movie collection. And then I have the Screen Factory set. And then I have this double feature of Never Sleep Again and Crystal Lake Memories. And then I've got um, this really cool 20th anniversary um, figure set from uh, Friday 13, 1 and 2. I got this years ago at Spencer's Gifts, but it's got the Hacky Sack Jason. And then it's got Pamela. And then it's got the shrine that Jason made of Pamela's right there with her head and everything. And this thing is such, such awesome detail. Um, I remember when NECA used to just go all out. I mean, they still do, but I just remember when figures were like this. And you could get, and I remember when you used to be able to get these at Spencer's Gifts. I mean, Spencer's Gifts what used to be the place where you could get like, you know, just so much awesome stuff, so many awesome figures. And then I got a uh, Jason head right there. And there's a few other small little things like a Crystal Lake sign right there and a couple of weapons. And then I have a Wacky Wobbler, Jason right there. Then down here is a few other things. I got this cup right here. I got a couple keychains. Then I have these figures. Um, um, I also show the Leatherface figure that I have of this, but I got the Jason one. And then the uh, Freddy one. Then I have the Friday 13th uh, Blu-ray Steelbook, a couple of VHSs, and then the DVDs, and a couple of other things. I also got these cool little pins right here. Uh, you know, you got one of Jason, and then Leatherface, and then one of Freddy. I don't see these pins ever really, but yeah, they're really cool. All right. Now I'm moving on right here, and this is kind of like my NECA ultimate figure shelf. There's a lot of cool stuff on this shelf right here. Like first we got the alien, the ultimate mother alien from Aliens. Then I got a little Pennywise pint glass, and then I have the uh, the Sam sitting on the uh, the pumpkin light from Spirit Halloween. Then I have this really cool um, Christmas card that I got from my buddy Christian Hannah Hoare. You know, that's, you know, modeled after, um, you know, the original It miniseries. And then you got Gizmo right there just chilling. All right, and then I'll give you guys a close-up of the figures on the shelf. I got Jason from Part 2, Part 3. Got uh, Chucky, the ultimate Chucky. And then Sam from Trick or Treat. Then I have uh, Pennywise from the it, new It um, the Ultimate Nightmare Demon from American Warp in London, the Ultimate Stripe, and then the T-1000 from Terminator 2. And then the bottom right here is my Jaws shelf. So I got a novelization of Jaws 2. I got one of these cool 3D 
posters of original Jaws, which I got from, I think, Spencer's Gifts years ago. I got the 4K, the original movie. Then I got the Lunchbox Jaws. And then I got the 30th anniversary DVD and then Blu-rays of the other movies. And the last thing right here on this shelf is this awesome, you know, when Jaws jumps up on the boat and he tries to eat Quint. This thing is such nicely detailed. Absolutely awesome. Um, this thing goes for a lot of money now if you can find it. Um, but yeah, that is just an awesome, awesome piece right here. Moving on to this shelf. And this is kind of like my box set and complete franchise collection shelf. Well, not complete, you know. I mean, of course, I have other franchises throughout the throughout the rest of the room. But, you know, any, fran any like, movie trilogy or series, um, I like to keep up here. And as well as, you know, collector sets. So I got Lord of the Rings, James Bond, Wanted. Um, and I got Superman, Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, the Harry Potter 8 film collection. And then I have the DVD of the first movie, which I kept because I really love the original poster artwork for the original movie. And the behind here are just some older DVD box sets. And then I got my Criterion's, Criterion DVDs right there. Moving on down, there's some other sets. I got the Decline of Western Civilization collection, the Batman the Outsiders, the 4K set, which I absolutely love, St. Helens. And then behind here are more Blu-ray sets and then complete collections. And then here's a few more sets right here. Um, these two are DVD sets. And then I got the, uh, that one's a Blu-ray. And then behind there are uh, TV show and um, yeah, TV show DVD sets behind there. Then I got some more sets right here, Mad Max, Alien Quadrilogy, Terminator, and then I have a copy of Terminator 2, Judgment Day on VHS, still sealed. And then these are just some DVDs of some classic TV shows that I grew up watching as a kid. And then, last thing on the shelf are my Digibooks. I prefer Digibooks over Steelbooks. They just don't release as many Digibooks like they used to. But yeah, there's all of them. And then behind here, I mean, I got some VHSs that I got from my um, old rental store that was closing down my local rental store movie gallery. I got some tapes from them. And then I got like some Pokemon tapes and some DVDs of like classic cartoons, Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, stuff like that. All right, now moving on, I'm going to show you guys my Home Alone set or Home Alone collection, I mean. Like I got both the uh, the first two movies on Japanese Laserdisc. I got the soundtrack on vinyl. I got a couple of uh, books based on the movie novelization. Got the uh, Kevin McAllister naked figure right there for the 25th anniversary. Then I got the 25th anniversary edition soundtrack on CD. And then a Christmas, um, Home Alone Christmas CD that just has... Um, you know, song, Christmas songs from the first two movies. Then I have the 25th anniversary edition paint can set. Then I got some Blu-ray, the Steelbook, 4K, DVDs, some VHSs. And then I have these uh, hand-painted head knockers, which are really cool. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut it there because it's already about 14 minutes. And like I said, for some reason, um, I just can't upload long videos with my phone, I assume. Because I tried to upload a 20-minute video yesterday showing off everything else. And it literally took all night and it only got up to 8%. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. And then I'm going to do a third part and show off the rest of everything else. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in part three.